Galnet News Digest, 28th of March, 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, sacrifices begin as Death Cult welcomes new members. Buckyballers disown planetary circumnavigation. Cannon builds anti-Xeno artifact barrier. Sodium supplies restored. Sacrifices begin as Death Cult welcomes new members. The children of Tufos have commenced the ritual sacrifices that they believe will summon their god Tofu. The so-called children, some of whom are quite grown up in body if not in mind, have been hauled up in Archimbal Terminal in the unpronounceable Tsar system for the past couple of weeks, together with the 300 megaton nuclear weapon. Oddly, the cult seems to be using artisanal techniques to execute their sacrificial victims, rather than the much more efficient nuclear factory farming technique. There's been talk of marble slabs and curiously shaped but very, very sharp knives. Leader Barnabas Cole is welcoming new adherents to the appropriately named Terminal if one member of the crew of each arriving starship is sacrificed to Tofu. Several Sidewinder pilots have been caught out by this rule. But it doesn't matter anyway. When they eventually decide to detonate the Lucifer device, it's almost certain that all the children of Tothos and everyone else unlucky enough to be at Archimbold Terminal will get to meet their maker without having to queue. Buckyballers disown planetary circumnavigation. The Buckyball Racing Club has denied any involvement with the first great planetary expedition, despite hosting its webpage. The expedition, which aims to circumnavigate the planet of Kume and Chi Hercules in SRVs, via a series of beautiful and often challenging waypoints, set off from Bridgertown at 8pm on Wednesday. Despite the non-racing nature of the expedition, the leading members had covered 400 kilometres in the first few hours. There seems to be a significant likelihood that the more dedicated members of the expedition may complete the entire circumnavigation within a week, arriving back at Bridgertown before the ice has melted in their Centauri Megagins. The Buckyball Racing Club explains that if it was running the planetary circumnavigation, it would expect to see commanders complete the trip in 24 hours, or less. Cannon Builds Anti-Xeno Artifact Barrier Operation Indy Croft is the latest undertaking by Cannon Interstellar. It is a scientific experiment in which commanders will attempt to inoculate a station from Thargoid attack by shipping in the thing that Thargoids hate most, Guardian Artifacts. Participating commanders have been stockpiling huge quantities of the artefacts, and today, Commander Del Monte, the commander who likes to say yes, has instructed participants to sell those artefacts at Sugano Ring in Wito. Everyone will then wait to see if the Thargoids don't attack. Of course, the Thargoids consistently haven't attacked most of the starports in the bubble, so quite apart from the possibility that huge amounts of something that Thargoids hate might actually make them more likely to attack, the experiment may need to be repeated quite a few times before any conclusions can be drawn. Sodium supplies restored. Commanders complaining that they have nowhere to complain have been relieved to find that their dreams have been answered with a new shiny forum, with lots of space to moan about anything and everything. There's an intelligence test built in. Only commanders able to solve the username and password puzzle will be permitted to communicate on the new message boards. And they will be awarded trophies for their successful participation. One such trophy is for deluded, salty loners who are incapable of saying anything positive. It's called, I think they like me. Commanders who have connected successfully have started up a new discussion in celebration, entitled, What did you do when the forums were down? 
And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to. <laughs>